encampments are now banned on UC campuses. The new zero tolerance policy comes after several formed in protest of the war in Gaza, resulting in clashes with police and counter protesters, some turning violent and some are questioning tonight whether the policy infringes on First Amendment rights. KTLA's Carlos Acedo is live in Westwood with reaction to the controversial new policy. Carlos. Mike and Cher, good evening. College campuses handled the protests very differently. Now here at UCLA, protesters essentially took over the quad area behind me, setting up a large encampment. It took law enforcement officers about a week before they were given the green light to move in and break things up. And then we all remembered what happened next. It's images like these that plagued many UC campuses last spring semester as pro-Palestinian protesters set up encampments to demand the school's divestment from Israeli-linked companies and institutions. The violence among some protesters at UCLA is something academic officials don't want to see happen again. On Monday, UC President Michael Drake directed chancellors of all 10 schools to strictly enforce established rules when it comes to demonstrations. That includes banning encampments, protests that block pathways, and mass warn to shield identities. Loyola Law School professor Jessica Levinson. Different UC campuses responded to the protests in different ways last year. But this is really, I think, about trying to set clear guidelines. Drake also issued a letter to the broad UC community emphasizing the right to free speech while reiterating the need to have safe campuses and the ability to maintain critical university operations. The zero tolerance policy comes a week after a federal judge blasted UCLA's handling of the Gaza protests, calling it unimaginable and abhorrent. The judge's ruling demanded UCLA take action after protesters blocked Jewish students from accessing classes or part of the campus. Three Jewish students claimed in a lawsuit they faced discrimination because of their faith. I think it's going to be really important to see how these rules are enforced. What you want to make sure is that these rules are enforced for everybody, that it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what your viewpoint is, that if the UCs have a blanket policy that certain types of actions are not accepted at certain places, that that is the rule, again, in a neutral fashion. And today's directive comes as students return to UC campuses. Here at UCLA, though, there are no quarter systems, so students won't return to classes until the end of next month. We're live tonight in Westwood. Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News. Carlos, thank you.